A Santa Cruz man thinks that he has come up with a potential solution to the problem of plastic waste. He wants to convert it to diesel fuel. The science is sound, but environmentalists aren't so sure about the approach. KPX 5's Devin Feely has this special, report, this special report. The reality is we are facing a tsunami. A tsunami of plastic products and the overwhelming majority don't get recycled. On top of that, far too many of them end up in the environment and our oceans. This next story is about a sailor and a boat captain and an activist who thinks he might just have stumbled upon a solution to that problem. For Captain Jim Holm, his love of the ocean and his concern for its well-being run as deep as, well, the ocean itself. The damage that plastic waste does in the environment, it really causes some serious issues. A sailor turned activist, Jim believes he has found a potential solution to the existential threat of plastic waste, something he's seen firsthand on his travels around the world. I like to call it a cross between grandma's pressure cooker and grandpa's still. Jim is trying to convince the city of Santa Cruz and eventually the wider world to adopt technology that converts unrecycled plastic into diesel fuel. And just put them in the machine as they are. Using a small tabletop version of the technology, Jim explains how the process works. Plastics of all kinds are heated to nearly 800 degrees Fahrenheit, first becoming a liquid and then a gas which cools and is collected on the right side of the converter. That yellow, oily substance can be readily refined into diesel fuel. I believe very strongly that this particular system has the potential to make an enormous difference in plastic pollution. But it does beg the question, why not just recycle the plastic in the first place? According to the EPA, a small fraction of plastic products 8.7% in 2018, and estimated to be even less now, are ultimately recycled. The rest, like a great tributary of trash, litter landfills, enter the environment, or pollute the planet's oceans. There are still some of these plastic types that don't have enough value to be recyclable on a regular basis. But not everyone is convinced converting plastic to fuel is truly the best solution. On the face of it, it's not focused on the right problem. Rachel O'Malley is a professor of environmental science at San Jose State University. She says manufacturing far less plastic and switching to electric vehicles is the answer to plastic pollution and a warming planet. The problem of plastics, we've got to stop using them. Reduce before you reuse. And if you're going to reuse, sequester the carbon. Jim says steering the manufacturing industry away from plastics is much like turning a large ship at sea. It doesn't happen quickly. And in the meantime, he says, the watery world he's come to love pays the price for our inaction. I now have a granddaughter as well, and I'd like her to be able to see many of the things that I've been fortunate enough to see. Captain Holm thinks like a sailor, his plan would harness the winds of commerce to get people an incentive, financial or otherwise, to collect and remove plastic waste from the environment. He is still in the earliest stages of a conversation with the city about that technology, a conversation that was largely put on hold during the pandemic. Uh, the Santa Cruz Public Works Director does say the city would need to see a full-scale working prototype of Jim's technology before considering it as an option.